Hello guys. Uh, I wanted to make a discussion video. Uh, because I get whispered a lot lately about like what am I doing, why am I not streaming, why I'm not pushing Red BG solo, what are my plans for like the world within and stuff like that. Uh, so I decided to like try to put down a video and explain what am I doing, what is going on, how is the world within. Uh, honestly, the world within is fantastic so far. Uh, great expansion. And I'm I'm really satisfied so far with what we had. And one thing that I, that I hope that we get a little more, maybe is a little more of uh, yeah. Obviously, now that I'm talking and focusing on like what I have to say, I'm playing like shit. <laughs> I didn't even ice block that. Uh, so I hope we get a little more PvP tuning and class design. Class design is something that really should be looked at. Uh, I had a lot of complaints during Dragonflight, but I adapted to a point where I was satisfied with the game. And this is before the whole Fire Mage combustion thing, okay? This is coming from like me playing Arcane. Arcane has always been my main. I've always played Arcane. My channel is called Alumnus Master. And yeah, my idea is like playing all three specs, honestly, and my initial idea was to play all three specs while queuing RPG Solo, but then they made it spec specific, which is like, whatever. Uh, I can live with that, I guess. I wanted more like to be able to adapt every game, have like a specific, uh, okay, I need to peel for my flag carry, I'm gonna play Frost, stuff like that, or like, I want... AoE damage, I'm gonna play Arcane, I want a Ninja Cup, I play Arcane, uh, sorry, Fire Element for uh, team fighting. But it is what it is. I'm not too unhappy about stuff like that. Oh, what the fuck? My own Ring of Frost fighting. I don't think I can survive this. Either. I'm dead. Yeah, I played bad. I just keep playing bad. So... What have I been doing? I've been doing... What I always do, and people don't really believe me, I play a lot of PvE. Right? Uh, you guys probably don't know because all this, you see only my PvP content, but I've played Mythic Plus for years raiding as well um, a lot of solo content I like to clear the map and do all the side quests and stuff like that and that's what I've been doing I mean um, I've done all the quests all the side quests all the sky riding to gold all the delves all the dungeons and I farmed two million golds uh, and this is coming from a new character because my main account was banned so this is all new finally my mage is not poor anymore I guess and yeah, every now and then I will clip something and I will try to make a short, but yeah, you can tell that I've been falling behind on my usual schedule. So I played a little bit Fire and Arcane, and when I mean a little bit, I kind of played them. And I felt like the two specs are really lacking right now, both in design and in... Uh, some of their main characteristics that they had during Dragonflight. Now, first of all, I'm gonna say that I don't play Frost, and I don't plan to play Frost. And the reason for that is that I really, really, really don't like pressing one button that much, like Iceland's, you know? Um, I know some people think that Fire Mage is lame when it just does combustion and look like it does like a Meteor Flame Strike one-shot, but the truth is that you're pressing a lot of buttons and it feels satisfying, and it's awesome to pull off. Right now you just can't, it's very undertuned. Um, so I usually have like a specific idea every BG I enter, what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna play, and what my goals are, like I'm gonna focus on ninja capping, I'm gonna focus on uh, defending a base, I'm gonna focus on, 
you know, different things. Um, there's a trinket. Bubble, okay, I'll take that. And the truth is that Mage has lost some of its spark. Ah, that's Chuck, man. You don't have bubble now. Yeah. Uh, that, for example, could have been easily a clip, honestly. Um, it's not a clip that is worth doing a short with, but I can include it in some compilation, maybe. Um, of course, there's always gonna be the people that are like, why, don't, why didn't you just, you know, burst at him? Well, why would you save, save burst for the next fight if you can just win with, the, with one knockback, right? So, yeah, this is already turning into a just rambling randomly of everything. That's what happens with my videos often. Every time I try to record anything on voice, I just start with an idea and then I just go off and I keep talking. And one thing led to another and then we are talking elephants, right? <laughs> Random things. So, okay, in Dragonflight, my idea is like Arcane Mage was my 1vx, ninja capping, tanking and mobility, low damage spec. It had a burst window, which usually forced some cooldowns, and then it would focus on knockback, staying alive, Aoi Polymorph, Ring of Frost, Ice Walls, right? And it would try to steal and do tricks. And it paid off very often. I, I even won a lot of BGs without ever doing any damage. I would close with zero damage, and oh, that was like pretty impressive from the fella. I didn't, I did not expect it from the fella to do that. I mean, I can take this guy as well. This is, this is already a clip. This is already a clip. Let's see. I gotta grab him. And I'm gonna go back, and I got both of them off, and that's clip. Example. See, I don't really care about doing damage, right? If I wanted to do damage, I would be playing fire. When I play fire, I focus more on the 1vx aspect of like actual dealing damage and bursting. So my problem is now, we are currently playing a meta where like, too many classes have... <laughs> this guy just doesn't learn, I guess. Um, yeah, so we are playing in a meta that too many classes have too much damage and after the nerves to like mage survivability which is like we lost uh, some of our tools like ice nova and supernova they are kinda pruned into ring of frost and db and then we also lost some absorption from our barriers tempest barrier and diverted energy are kinda useless you usually take tempest barrier just for like protection for dispels but otherwise it feels like now mage is more of a glass cannon class. Now I'll explain why it is a problem for me. We have gained a lot of damage on arcane from the zero damage that we were doing, but it's still very low damage compared to a lot of classes. Now if you pop everything and people let you cast, arcane can be scary. I'm gonna try to prove it with this guy. Actually, this guy has no gear. Probably better not waste my time. Okay, that was a strange choice. So... Arcane can be scary if you're like free casting. But look, when you're playing a class... I hope you play it because you enjoy it, but... When you play the class to win, you try to play in the class strength. And right now, mage strength doesn't exist. I'm not saying that mage is weak. Mage can do a lot of things, but all of those things, other classes can do better. If you're talking team fights, there's classes that do a lot more damage than mage. A lot. Even than frost mage, which I don't play, which is the strongest pack, which I will play, I will, I will place in A tier or S tier. It really depends on the matchup. But even in S tier, I wouldn't place it on the top 3 specs in the game. And that's BG talking, okay? I'm not talking Arena, so don't quote me, don't tell other people Mage God said this. Like, Mage God said Mage is bad. I didn't say stuff like that. 
But I feel like Mage is kinda bad. Because the strengths that I was playing into for Mage are not there right now. So if I queue for BG random, or uh, sorry, if I queue for a rated BG solo queue, and I get, let's say, Arafi Basin, my first approach is usually let's go LM, let's team fight, and then we decide what to do. And but right now, I'm confident that most of the classes I will face will carry the team fight harder than me. Like if they have Warlocks, Hunters, Fury, DK, they will do more damage, they will absorb more, they will put more pressure, healing reduction, they will do a lot of CCs. So it will be a very uh, a big struggle to win a team fight based basing yourself only on mage damage. Mage damage is not that good. It is a support class with burst windows and good mobility. That is what mage feels like, and it has been like that since a long time ago actually. And I came to terms with that. I wouldn't consider mage a pure DPS, uh, strongest DPS in the game. Almost never. Almost never. Uh, every season is like this. Um, now, I said that I play Arcane, as in, um, I played as a ninja capping, like, one second, I played as a ninja capping tanky spec, right? Oh shit, where did this guy come from? Oof, I invisible just in time. Smash party for our friend guy. For our friend, I mean, sorry. And. Other time, yeah. She broke. Not this guy. Okay. What else can we do? Let's ring of frost. Oh no, I'm dead. I should have blocked this. Uh, I could have. I could have blocked it, but I, I, I don't know, I waited too long. I thought I was gonna get Prismatic Barrier faster. Or maybe I had it, I'm, I'm sorry. When I'm talking, I just can't focus on the game that much. And... Well, so I was saying... <laughs> uh, I enjoy the aspect of being a tanky ninja capping class, which has different tricks up his sleeves. And... I play around this objective, so I have like, I have Ice Wall and Ring like this, right? Or I can EMB and then Blast Wave. I can do a lot of things around LM, and if LM is protected, I can do stuff like this on other bases. I can bait into the house and then Ice Wall. And I will never focus on actually killing enemies. That is in Dragonflight. Uh, and when I play Fire, I will try to be where most people are and try to like big combustion nuke people. Now, it was doing very well during Dragonfly because I was stacking multiple buffs like Berserking and Saltwater at the same time and the damage was like there. I wouldn't even have called it overtuned in, in terms of damage. The problem with the one shots was just the design was terrible. The design for Lit Fuse was on paper fun, but when people take the paper and they're like theory crafting just a little bit you will see that you can abuse certain talents to make the synergy so strong that they have no choices but either change the talent or nerf it to like the ground like they just nerfed it to a point where like it's unplayable <laughs> it's basically useless right now um, so yeah if I, if I queue as a fire or a cane right now I don't know what to do if I go into teamfight, I cannot win. And if I go into ninja cap, I cannot win. Like, if I go into ninja cap and I fight, what? A hunter, a warlock, a DK? Even a fury warrior is pretty hard to put down right now because it has so much self-sustain. I can beat most fury warriors without even losing HP. The problem is it will take 3 minutes to kill him. And that, that, that's been, like, slash timed. I fought geared fury warriors who were, like, not zero rating. And killing them was a bit of a struggle, honestly. Like, took a long time. I finished with full HP, but it took a long time to kill them. Because, like, Arcane is like, you have to press, uh, you have to... Take this. Uh, 
going off in. No. Oh, nice. So if I can't beat most people one v one, and in uh, in, in team fight I'm not gonna out damage most classes. What can I do as an arcane mage? I think I can defend decently, but the problem is that after the nerf of the barriers, you cannot stay alive against some classes. They just kill you. Like, if your entire kit is up and you're lucky enough that you don't get any counterplay, you might be able to stay alive very long. But one dispel on altar time, when you're like not expecting it, when you're like 10% HP, you're completely fucked. <laughs> That's gonna be your altar and ice block to get all together, and you're probably gonna be forced out of the ice block to anti cap. That's gonna be your blink into displacement, and then you only have greater invisibility left, basically. So, I feel like there is too much damage in the meta, but at the same time, I feel like there is not. I don't know. It is a strange meta so far. I feel like some tuning needs to be done. And I don't feel like queuing and relying on my teammates too much. Right now, Mage will do well if everybody opens their eyes and see Polymorphs, Ring, DB, Ice Walls. But because you play at low MMR, you cannot expect people to react to those things how I rated player would react to. If they see a ship, they will just do damage. If they see a Ring or DB, they, they, and you will be kicked with Ring, and then you get stunned with frost locked and you're gonna die in that stun if you don't have trinket then what you curse at your teammates because they're like i'm trying to see their healers i'm trying to do something <clears throat> Even though the core way is and again. this is why i feel like mage is not working it doesn't feel like completely weak but at the same time his identity is kind of gone um i think I could be a good support right now for my flag carrier, for example, or I can ha connect with the enemy flag carrier, and I could even kill it, honestly. It depends on how much healing it has and how much focus I get. If I get to cast uh, Surge and stuff, I can kill people. But, like I said, if you list all the uh, categories where you're interested in like what your class does, it's like, your burst is not the best, your Damage pressure is not the best, like sustained damage. Your AoE, uh, AoE damage is not the best. Your CC is not the best. Your mobility is not the best. <clears throat> People think that mobility for mage is really busted, but they have to understand that when you talk BGs, you have to understand that mage mobility is like centered around his play style. Like you move around your sphere and you control the fight. But if you have to go from point A to point B, there is a lot of classes that have like better mobility in that regard. It's like try to keep like running and blinking in one direction against a druid or a shaman in Ghost Wolf. You understand my point. I'm not saying that those classes are like more mobile than mage. I feel like this is combat mobility. And it's like obviously it has its pros. And uh, con is uh, it's um, like overall I like mage playstyle. Play it has some issues. I feel like no global ice block should have been a thing for ages now, right now. And another thing is like arcane surge just really doesn't do it for me. Another thing is like a lot of those talents needs to be rewatched. Diverted energy tempest bar needs to be rewatched. I feel like arcane warding might be rewatched. Um, Accumulative shielding and barrier diffusion should be watched because like a lot of those spells don't work as they are supposed to with mass barrier for example. Why when I shield the people? All talents affecting barriers don't work with mass barrier for example. Because when you read stuff like this, right? Whenever one of your barriers is removed, you would assume that every time a barrier is destroyed or removed from also your mass barrier, that will work as well. Right? See, like getting surge off is kind of a it's kind of a nightmare if I'm gonna be honest. Like it's it's hard to get surge off when people are playing properly. Okay. What is killing me so fast? I went through like four of my cooldowns. I went through pot, elstone, 
temporal alter. I think I temporal randomly, honestly. Oh, I got surge off. Then I have to fake here because it's gonna. I have to fake again because I don't have freckles. I'm dead. I got silence into knock up. I have no idea. I'm too distracted to talk. Uh, in the talk, I mean. So. How many times have I said so in this fucking video? So. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the world within. It's just that I want to play more RBG solo and more competitive. More, more competitive. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Can I? Okay, of course. I will fake this. I'm gonna Nova. I have to tempo this. Give me freedom. Give me freedom. Give me freedom. I'm lucky. Oh my god, Blink doesn't move me. I hate when this shit happens. So many of those things are like stuff that really. See, like, people don't talk about this. This happens so often. Like, Blink just don't, don't, not, not moving you. Oh, yeah, I heard that priests have two leap of faith. That's pretty cool. I might play my priest a little bit at some point. I still haven't leveled anything except for my mage. And. Um, yeah, I also plan to make guides and stuff like that. But I, I hope I get to play more and push rating and being like, hey guys, I can play the game. You know, I know that rating is not a good way. To prove that if you can play or not, or a good argument to throw around every time anybody is arguing on the forum about uh, PvP and you offer your viewpoint, you're you're pretty much getting shit on because like, well, you're not rank one, right? So you cannot have an opinion apparently. But I can I can debunk this myth easily. So let's say that I say mage is weak. Right? Someone will get at me and be like, Bro, you're not rank 1. Obviously you don't know what you're doing. So you cannot talk about how mage is. Mage is good, it's just that you're bad. That's argument A. Now, I say mage is weak and I'm a rank 1. People are gonna say, What do you mean it's weak? Bro, you are 3000 MMR. Of course mage is fucking strong or you wouldn't be at that rating. And that's how you destroy the myth of rating equal argument. Rating is just a number, guys. It means something only if you give it that much importance. There is a lot of people who are like not concerned with rating. Of, of course, most people who play at high rating are really good PvP players, but there is also very good people and theory crafter at low MMR. It's just the League of Legends accept this fact way more often. I've seen pro players from League of Legends even saying that some of the meta was literally made by low MMR players who just came up with some stupid strategy and then pro players were like well if I actually took this and did it a little better than it does this could actually be a thing, you know? Come on, ship. No way man I blinked at the same time that he leaped me Run. Everything is fine. And like I said, I've been focusing a lot on my, you know, I cleared almost every mythic dungeon already. I have already raided. Uh, the first day that raid came out, I kind of cleared it. It was fun. I even posted the the kill. I think it was a pretty fun raid. I liked it. I liked the like how they made it. I have to raid it right now. I'm doing some delves. I've seen Zario doing the delves and uh, it kind of spiked my interest a little bit. I've seen some items from the delves are really interesting and can be used in BG even though the tooltip says it, if they can't, they're like, this item can only be used in open world and then you use it in BG and it works. And I'm like, what? Is this intended? I don't think it is. It's kind of strange. I had an item that increased everybody's movement speed by 20%. And it said it can only be used outdoor, but then you can use it in BG, and it works. And I'm like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. 
I don't even remember the name of the item. I just found it randomly. I'm like, I wonder if it works in BG. And I used it, and I don't have it anymore. Um... The friendly priest. Oh shit, I forgot that I already had equipped them. I thought I, thought I was gearing, I, I, thought, I thought I was equipping them to use them. My bad. That's my B. Uh, I can actually grab that guy. So that is why you haven't seen me streaming at, like that much. It's because I've been doing a lot of fishing, a lot of like... I don't know, it was not a, a good stream. Like, I would take a lot of breaks, I would play one BG and then I would just watch an anime, watch some YouTube, watch some memes. Then I play one BG and it's either a pre-made or like it's already started and I'm like... Ah. I leave and I take Deserter and I, I go to something else and then I play a few BGs. But I feel like my gameplay is kind of like not that interesting right now. So that is why I haven't been streaming that much. Hopefully, we get some results with like tuning and like what they're doing with class designs. Like I, I feel like the I have already addressed this on stream multiple times. I'm nearly not a huge fan of Sun Fury and Spellslinger. I'm playing Spellslinger right now, and everybody's asking me why do you play Spellslinger not Sun Fury? It's because of a few passive that works very well for my gameplay, which is like um, the prismatic barrier more absorb, and then there's like displacement longer duration and uh, range. Those are things that really enhance my gameplay in a way that is I find interesting. Fuck you. See, like, see what I mean? I can't kite this guy. I can't blink here because, like, it, it just won't work. There's a lot of things that I wanted to discuss, but this was one of the main ones that I really want to get out there. The reason why I haven't been making much content or streaming is because I feel like mage gameplay is not that interesting right now and we're kind of waiting on like what's gonna happen with some tuning. Uh, I constantly see complaints about Frost Mage and I get them, I understand it and I'm even all up for like nerfing them. Uh, more than nerfing them I would rework a little bit how their spell works like I feel like there's too much emphasis on just spamming Iceless. I feel like that's kind of a lazy design. It's like G-Pi, you know? Like, you have those 50 spells, but then Greater Pyroblast is the strongest spell in the game, and you're like just spamming it with a lot of haste, and everything else becomes meaningless, right? Your intellect is meaningless, your versatility is meaningless, just haste pumping and just pump G-Pi. Then they put cooldown on it. But you get what I mean. It's like, if, this, if the optimal rotation is basically one spell, it's not that fun. It's not that interesting. It feels pretty lame. So if it was up to me, I would nerf. Like, let's say that I nerf Iceland by 50%. But then I will buff Frostbolt, for example. Like I want casting to feel rewarding. You're supposed to cast and take risk, and then when those risk go like successfully, when you do the outplay, they're supposed to pay off. Right now, Iceland does more damage than Pyroblast. It feels a bit strange. I'm not a huge glass cannon enjoyer either, and I don't know if I'm gonna play Ignite builds. I I, I like to see Flame Strike, Word in Flames, stuff like that. Uh, I don't like Ring of Fire. It's such a boring spell. It's it's like 
Ring of Fire is taken by every pro player basically because like it's such a reliable spell. It's a short cooldown, does always damage, it's easy to land and it's on a school that you really don't need because like it's an offensive school. Except for DB, like what other spells are you gonna be locked out of? Right? So Ring of Fire is such a reliable spell, but it's so boring design. I don't understand why some of the stuff on Mage is, it is the way it is. Like Arcanosphere is such unrewarding spell right now. Even if you pre-cast everything, even if you have Saltwater, even if you have Berserking, even if you manage to cast Evocation into Trinket with Saltwater, Berserking, all the procs in the world, right? And you eat everybody. You do no damage. You hit for like 650k. Guys, like 650k on 6 million HP people, it's 10% of the enemy HP, and you have to precast like 10 seconds. You have to precast Evocation, Arcane Surge, and you have to cast Arcanosphere. That's like 10 seconds of casting to do 650k damage. Then you just pop Frozen Orb and just spam Icelands, and you do a lot more damage. That is not how I like my game designed. This is why you won't see me playing a lot of Frost, and if you see me play Frost, I will try my best to play Frost Bomb into Snowdrift, into like Frost Firebolt, into Glacial. I want to cast, and I want to feel that casting is rewarding. Another thing that people don't know about me is that I'm really a disliker of stuns. I don't like stuns. I don't feel like Mage needs a deep freeze. I need that. I, I feel like the opposite. A lot of should lose some of their stuns. I'm okay with some classes having one stun. Having that many things like DH feels a bit overwhelming, honestly. It makes sense they have like their mobility and some of their acrobatics tricks, but ranged kick, ranged stun, prison, and everything, it feels stupid. Like, if you try to cast Arcane Surge versus a DH, you will never cast it. You have to literally be able to land the ship first, so that you can land the, the, the Arcane Surge after. And if you Arcane Surge, it will probably prison. If it's a good DH, but even if it doesn't, you're still probably going to be pressured a lot against a DH. And DH is not even like an S-Class spec in, in terms of fighting abilities. It's an S-Class spec because of his kit and how he moves around the map. And... I think like DH in RBG solo is gonna do very well, just like uh, Druids and Rogues. Those are the classes that are gonna do very, very well. Mist River and Preservation and Walker are gonna do very, very well. And then uh, the rest, I am not completely sure. A lot of classes are like either good for like objectives or good for team fight, and some of those are good for both. So they will dominate the ladder. I feel like. Well, this is going longer than I thought it would. There's already two battlegrounds, and I don't even know if I'm actually recording my voice. Because I haven't even checked that. If I haven't recorded my voice, this is not the first time that I made a 40 minutes video or something that I recorded with my voice, and then I was like, oh shit, the microphone was muted. Well, I guess I will wait another six months to do another video like this. And then I did it again, it was like, again, I was muted again. And. That plus like my terrible English sometime in the editing, I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna upload this. I do that very often. But yeah, right now I'm most of my time I'm spending in um uh, Fall, I'm spending it here fishing, and then I'm doing a lot of like IQ for BG, Brawl and Epic and fishing, and I will try to get dailies done. And then I will try to get like PvE done. And I'm trying to push Delves. I've, I've reached level 9, I'm gonna do level 10, and then I'm gonna maybe try the big boss battle, but I'm, I'm not sure I can do it. <laughs> I mean, Xyru did it, it must be possible then. A lot of people seem to be able to do it even easily, but I don't know, it feels like I, I will probably die against a 200 million rare. I don't know if the, the, the Bran... Brand the Broken is gonna do something, I don't know. Well, I will stop the video recording here because I feel like this is gonna drag a lot. I don't think anybody's gonna listen to me just rambling randomly all the time like this. 
this was some thoughts that I had about Mage. And I mean, if you want a guide, for now you will have to just watch Aegis. It makes perfect guides. I, I don't think I could make a guide better than Aegis. And yeah, that is about it. I'll see you guys on the next rambling video. Of me saying nonsense. I start with like, I'm gonna say three things in five minutes and then I'm like, oh, we're already at 40 minutes mark. If you made it this far, thank you so much for listening to my nonsense. This was not meant to be a ranting video, I just want to explain like why I'm not streaming RBG solo queue content or spamming it. I played only one and I actually played against my one of my friends, it was in the enemy team and we were on Discord, we all, we, we like I queued and he was queued as well and I forgot he was queued and, we, and when we entered we were in the enemy teams and uh, I was winning but like uh, I was like the enemy team had like three affliction warlock and a DK and I'm like how are we when winning and in fact we didn't <laughs> it, it, it turned very quickly because our healers were kind of just fighting on the bridge in middle in Twin Peaks and okay I guess we're not gonna be able to do much I carried like six flags to my flag room and I capped only one and even flag carrying has become really hard because of how mage is right now like I said I feel like mage it's not terrible but Whatever role you want to fulfill as a mage, other classes can do better. So, I really don't see the point right now of, like, maybe I maybe I have to practice more. I'm trying, every day I'm trying new shit. I was trying this talent here, Phantasmal Image, with this, uh, like this, right? See, Mirror Image cooldown is reduced by 10 seconds, and then you have your Mirror Image summons one extra clone. This is wrong, it summons two extra clones. So it's 20 seconds less on mirror images, uh, and with shifting power and also 5% less uh, damage taken, it is a bit worth, honestly. Like, you're, you can actually feel like you're tankier and you have mirror images more often, and, and that way you, you know, you can trade with people more often because you also have always mirror images. That is one of the things that I was trying. Um, but nothing really groundbreaking, like there's nothing going on that is like insanely groundbreaking. I feel like it would be interesting if uh, Mass Barrier was enhanced by Diverted Energy or like Accumulative Shielding and Barrier Diffusion would work with it. I feel like a lot of those things needs to be watched. Uh, time Manipulation, for example, doesn't affect Ice Wall. I feel like Ice Wall is a CC. I don't know. CC... By the term CC, no, but I mean... Would you consider Ice Wall CC? It technically is not a crowd control, but we use it as such. I don't know. I I saw that they are out fixing Ice Wall in the next patch that has less cooldown when you play Frost Fire because Frost Fire has a uh, if you play Fire Frost Fire there is a cooldown reduction for Frost spells of 30%. Then right now it's not working and it's gonna be fixed in the next patch I've seen. Stuff like that needs to be looked at and needs to be fixed. Uh, and eventually mage will be good again of course because like let's be honest mage is like it's never it's never top and it's never shit it's always a, a mid sometimes it's mid good as in it's close to the top and sometimes it's mid bad which is where we are right now and uh, when i say mage i mean fire and arcane guys i'm not talking about frost mage spamming guys of 1 million it's overtuned i understand it's overtuned and it counters melees, so everybody's complaining about them. But if you pin a frost mage against a fucking warlock or a hunter or a feral, it, it's not an easy fight, okay? Like they do a lot of damage. They they feral cannot be shipped, does a lot of damage, is gonna like if you manage to fix Skullbash and you have precog, maybe it becomes an easier fight. I feel like playing against DH is a bit hard, playing against DK is a bit hard, a lot of 1v1 matchups are really hard as a mage. If you win them it's only because Ice Lens is overtuned, it's not because mage kit is actually that busted like people make it seems on the forum all the time. 
Uh, I agree that Frostbite is not a spell that should exist, for example. I feel like ev everything that is RNG and it's unreliable and can var like it goes from being completely useless to being absolutely bonkers, that is not a good game design for me. Everything that is RNG, so Spellslinger and Sun Fury, for example, have a lot of RNG mechanics, right? When you're playing Spell Slinger, you have orbs proking off splinters, and when you're playing Sun Fury, your Arcane Phoenix will just do whatever the fuck she wants, right? Those are not good designs for me. I mean, they're cool looking, sure, but they're not good design for me. Oh, there's another Arcane Mage playing Sun Fury. So you proc splinters off consuming nether precision, right? See? Then you start popping off like with those orbs like this. And then you just orb, 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 orb. Orb, 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 orb. And sometimes you just keep going like that, orb, 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 barrage, orb, 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 barrage, right? And, I don't know, like, it's cool looking, but at the same time, I feel like it shouldn't work like that. Anything that is, like, so much RNG, it's, it's less interesting than something that you can just rely on. Well, I said way more than I thought I was going to say. So yeah, we're going to keep playing Mage as always. Uh, and I'm enjoying it for the most part. And we're suffering from Season 1 having low haste with Arcane Surge. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I feel like Arcane needs some tuning. <coughs> Especially Spell Slinger. And then um, Fire needs some tuning. And even Frost needs some tuning, of course. And hopefully they will keep polishing this expansion because it looks awesome. Like, one thing that really I really like is this fucking stuff. I really like the design of this. Looks awesome. Okay, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Like, I'm gonna talk about everything if I don't stop now. I'm gonna end up talking about pet battles. So yeah, I know what everybody wants. What they, everybody wants a consumable guide, an engineering guide, which is like pretty interesting considering that my engineering is like what do you see profession nowadays? There you go, that's my engineering guys. Like I said, I focus on making the two million golds and clearing PVE. I haven't properly leveled professions or done anything else. <clears throat> I have calibrated my prices to be reasonable. But I am happy to see a lot of content creators coming back to retail. Okay, I'm gonna restart. Uh, we're gonna talk about other things another time. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this. And if you made it this far instead of the far from before, thank you again for listening to my nonsense and my terrible English English accent, Italian accent. See you guys next time. Peace.